What's up guys, in today's video I'm switching it up a little bit. Uh, we're actually going to do a video on my tone from my Them Bones cover. I uploaded that last week and uh, I actually got a few comments asking to do this, so I figured I might as well get into it. So first we've got our input, so I've just got the advanced mode on for the gate. I've got it down to negative 53.6 decibels. Um, I haven't really messed with the ratio attack or release much, as you can see, like, they're kind of just where they were. Um, now, don't worry about these that have this little thing on them. Those are all just disabled, because this is my personal preset. I didn't make this for the video. Um, I just figured I'd use it because, A, I already have it there, and it sounds great, so, you know, why not? Um, so, next we have the drive. So, I'm using the Horizon Devices Precision Drive. Um, now, if you know what the Horizon Devices is, you know that it's made by Mishima and Sword Periphery, and I'm a huge Periphery fan, so that was like a no-brainer to me. So, it's actually doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. That and this next gate right here. I figured I'd add the extra gate just to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Like, if I take those two off, it basically becomes a crunch tone. Which is a bit fatter, but I, I like it a bit chunkier and tighter. Yeah. So next we'll move on to the amp. So I've got the PV5150 or a 6505, or I guess this would be a 6505 plus. But, as you can see, I've kind of got the gain down just so that way the drive can do its work. The bass around, like, 130, I'd say. The mids around, like, 1130. Treble around 3. Um, and we've got the presence around 3 as well, and then the depth around 330. I've got the master volume down as well because I needed a bit more headroom, and so I figured what better way to do that than just turn the master volume down. So now we're on to the cab. So I'm using two different mics on a 5153 cab. Um, it's loaded with the EVH Celestion G12s. And basically we've got the Dynamic 1 mic, which I assume is probably like an SM57, and the Condenser, which I, I want to say is probably like a U87. I've got the level turned down on the Condenser a little bit. And as you can see, like they're basically in the same position but not. The condenser is just ever so slightly lower than the dynamic, but I mean, or you turn the condenser off, I mean, you get a pretty bright sound. You turn off the dynamic and you get a pretty dark sound. Right? So you blend the two together, you get best of both worlds. Sounds great. So we got that covered. So now we're going to move on to the parametric EQ. So basically all the parametric EQ is doing is it's taking out a bit of the high frequencies at around... It starts at 11,337 hertz, and then uh, this is at 4,822, and it's just being lowered just by a decibel and a half. So, I mean, you listen to it without. Like, it's it's just kind of helping it blend a little bit more into the mix. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just a tiny difference that I personally prefer. Um, I mean, you got your out, which is literally just an out, so... I mean, that's about it. Another thing to note, uh, I used this tone in my Inception of the End cover as well. If you haven't checked that out, you totally should. Um, I actually, I'll link it right here. So, I mean, other than that, really, that's about it. So, peace.